everyone today we are going to start a new topic which is composition of linear map in this first of all we will define what is composition of linear map then we'll do some theorem and then example so let us start our definition of composition of linear map so before defining composition of linear map we must remember what is meaning of composition which we have studied earlier then it will be easy to understand what is the composition of two linear map so suppose we have two mapping one is t from u to v and another one is s from v to w these are two linear map then their composition is defined as s of t from u to w which is defined as s of t of u is equal to s of t of u which we can easily understand by this diagram suppose we have one element uh, let it be small u it is here on in vector space u so if u belongs to u then through this t image it will map in this this is domain and this is codomain here i am talking about this mapping t so suppose u belongs to this capital u and we so if we defining here map t which is a linear then obviously it will map in some element of v so let it be t of u so if t is a mapping and u belongs to u then obviously t of u belongs to v now if i am talking about another act mapping which is s so according to this this v will be new domain for mapping s and this w become codomain for this mapping s so now if it this element suppose i am considering this as a new element let it be v then it goes like a, a s of v okay so if t is a mapping from u to v then one element if i am considering u belongs to u then it will be if map delete this okay so if i am considering one element u belongs to u and t is a mapping then obviously this u image of this u be like uh, t of u is equal to v if i am writing t of u giving new name t of u as v because i have to define another mapping which is s so if v belongs to this v so i can write here if u belongs to this capital u then t is a mapping so obviously t of u is some v which v belongs to capital v so now this all t of u type elements belongs to v only again if i forgot this part now i have a new mapping which is s so if i look around s then if t v belongs to v then s is a linear so obviously some s of v belongs to w and some s of v may be new w element i can write this so from here i can see that if composition of two map is s of t and if i am giving taking one element u from capital u then see i have considered this u from capital u and i am getting this w belongs to w in this so my composition map is from u to w means that if i am taking this element as a element then i am getting its image is s of v which is equal to w so how this is equal to this one we have to see see s v is nothing but t of u so s of t of u is equal to s of t of v that mean here we are defining that composition of linear map is defined in this way but from here we can see how it is actually defining so i think you understand now so i think you understand now what is composition of linear map so we'll do some it we'll do it some example so let us have our first example our first example is composition of linear map is linear so before proving this we always have to remember what is the definition of linear so if you know what is the definition of linear then it will be easy to understand or easy to prove 
what are what is asking the question so first of all let t is a mapping from u to v and s is another mapping which is from v to w so if we have to prove if we have to we have a question of composition so we have to consider mapping like this one is from u to v and another one from v to w this type of mapping we always have to consider so t is a mapping from u to v and s is a mapping from v to w b two linear map so here i have nothing i have not mentioned anything new but i have only used the definition which is given already in question so here you can easily see here it is given the composition of linear map is linear so first of all what we will start from the given part and what we will prove what is asked so here to prove that the composition of linear map is linear so i have written the definition of composition for which i need at least two mapping so t is one map and s in another map and i have taken these two maps are linear then their composition is then the composition s of t which is from u to w is defined by s of t of u which is equal to s of t of u and all u belongs to u so i have written what is given in the question now i have to prove that composition of linear map is linear so to prove that s of t is linear now i have to prove that s of t is linear so what i have to prove so i have to remember the definition of linear what is linear so here that is to prove that s of t of u1 plus u2 is equal to s of t of u plus s of t of v for all u comma v belongs to capital u or if okay sorry u1 and u2 i have taken so u1 and u2 belongs to capital u and s of t of u alpha u1 is equal to alpha s of t of u1 for all u1 belongs to u and alpha belongs to any field suppose this is f so for linearity we have to prove these two property always so just remember from the word linear you have to prove this so let us start its proof for any u1 comma u2 belongs to u we have to prove first one s of t of u1 plus u2 is equal to from the definition of composition i can write s of t of u1 plus u2 can i write this yes we can write this because of the definition of composition of linear map now here i can write this by definition so i will write here definition of composition again here i can write t of u1 plus t of u2 i can write this because of the definition of t which i have already taken that t is a linear map so t is a linear so obviously it will follow the linearity condition so i can write t is linear since t linear i can write this again from this i can write s of t of u1 plus s of t of u2 i can write this also i can write this because s is also linear if s is a not linear i can't write in this way 
but s and t both are linear so i can write this now from this we can see this is nothing but s of t of u1 and from this we can see this is nothing but s of t of u2 so first part is true that s of t of u1 plus u2 is nothing but s of t of u1 plus s of t of u2 for all u1 comma u2 belongs to capital u for next part let for any u1 belongs to u and any alpha scalar alpha we have to prove that s of t of alpha u1 is equal to again i will use the definition of composition so i can write s of t of alpha u1 every time you have to mention what definition you are using so according to definition of composition here i can write s of t here see again t is a linear that mean t will also follow that two property first one is linear and another one is scalar multiplication so we can write this as alpha time t of u1 again i have to mention reason so since t is linear every reason has some marks marks so you have to write it correctly s of alpha t of u again see s is also linear that mean the scalar can come outside so alpha time s of t of u1 again since s is linear from this we can write this nothing this is nothing but the definition of composition so i can write this s of t of u1 so from first part and so from second one we can conclude that s of t is linear that is i can write that the composition of two linear map is a linear map so we here we have done our first question first example We'll do our next example.